Good morning, and thank you for joining me, Coach Michael, on your Monday morning. This Wednesday, February 12th, is President Lincoln's birthday, our 16th president, and one of the names that goes down in history in the presidency. Abraham Lincoln was an ex incredible, extraordinary man that unfortunately faced with much adversity in his life. He lost those closest to him at early ages. He lost many times before he actually won the presidency of our United States. And most importantly, the worst thing you could possibly be president over is the division of your country. Putting families against families, brothers against brothers in the Civil War. But this man is known for greatness. But most importantly, he's known as a great leader. And I think this is an important lesson. There's, a great, there's many books written on Abraham Lincoln, many biographies, but there's one in particular that I really like, took a liking to. And it's called Lincoln on Leadership. And this is for anyone who is building an organization or a team and looking for the right people. It has many antidotes in here, but there's several chapters, but there's a few chapters that really stood out for me. And number one is number one. It was the first chapter titled, Get Out of Your Office and Circulate with Your Troops. You need to know your people. Abraham Lincoln got down there and got to know the people in the field fighting for the country. He got to know his generals personally, so he knew how to motivate the people that were doing the work to accomplish the goals. And of course, set goals and be results oriented. There were certain goals. The goal was to win the war and get it over fast. He wanted generals that would get that result to save additional bloodshed. Chapter 14, influence people through conversation and storytelling. I can't tell you how many times and how importantly it is when a client asks me and challenges me with a challenge that they particularly have with a, a person or someone on their team. And after they would tell me the whole story, I would just say, just sit down and have a conversation. Anytime you have a challenge with someone on your team, sitting down with them is just having a conversation. Letting them know what you expect from them. Letting them know, is there anything you could do to help them? And also, when it comes to selling, storytelling is the best. People remember stories. So Lincoln became a great conversationalist and a great storyteller, and that helped him win the presidency. Number 15 chapter, very important for any organization, preach a vision and continually reaffirm it. In any organization, you've got to be clear on your vision, what the purpose is, is where you're going, and when you confirm this with your team, they will be able to help you with that vision. But the chapter that really stuck with me and really resonated with me was, was chapter 11 and says, keep searching until you find your grant. And what that story is about is Abraham Lincoln was looking for the general that would persevere through the hardship and win the battles to get the war over quickly. He gave many several generals the opportunity to press forward and win the battles, but they always would stop and never keep on advancing until he found his Grant. Grant persevered. Many people didn't like Grant. Many said he was an alcoholic and drank lots of whiskey. And Abraham Lincoln says he wins the battles. If he likes to drink whiskey, find out his brand and send it to all the other generals. So he found his grant. So as you're building an organization, as you're building divisions, and you're looking for those leaders to run your teams, be very conscious, looking for your grant. Give them the opportunity to step up. They need to earn the right to be those leaders, to lead that team and win those battles. So pick up this book. I guarantee you'll enjoy it. For any leader that you haven't read this book, this is a must. As always, I want to thank you for joining me, Coach Mike, on your Monday morning. And remember always, attitude. Make sure your mind's right. Action, do the work, and you will get the results. Thank you. We'll see you next week.